Hi everyone, welcome back. You are still watching this spot. It's time for us to check out a spot of music. Let's see who we've got on the decks on the TV. Malik Berry. Malik oh, Berry. Is that an Andrea Yama swimsuit? I'm Doesn't not it look sure. like it? Or the orange one? I think, it, yes, I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it. I think they style. all are, actually. I think they all might okay. be. It's a very colorful, bright. Very pop. Yeah. Poppy. I like Colors. it. There's no color that is not here yet. <laughs> I like Malik. Can you very... identify the colors? Oh, yeah. Gray, what color is red, this? Pink. No, what color is that? Pink. Okay. Orange. 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 Okay. Um, Peach. Great song. I like his work as a producer and I like the fact that he's doing more as an artist now. Mm -hmm. um, and he's doing it alone because I noticed that before it was him either featuring somebody and oh, okay. stuff. So that's pretty cool. Does he have his own label? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, is it? Okay. I don't know if he does. Which one yeah. But so I think he just really wanted this to be a video that catches your attention because there's no way, there's something about it. If the colors don't catch the attention, it's the bum. It's the dancing. It's the girls. It's the, yeah, it's the ladies. So, even his shirt. Though. Monopoly money for real? Okay, girl. Actually, that might not be Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So, very, I mean, an interesting video in terms of it being, I don't know. I like how that lady is just there on the rocking chair. Like, nothing's happening <laughs> in her phone, on her phone, just rocking. <laughs> out and in and out and in. She's yeah. super chilled. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So, all around successful video. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess. Um, <laughs> no come through. Yeah. I don't know. Any last yeah. words about this video? Uh, well, fun fact. So the all the lipsticks that you see the ladies wearing were um, are actually by Madame Flo, which is uh, Madame Flo, which is oh, a lipstick yeah. company by um, well, a cosmetics company by. Florence Adepoju. Adepoju, yeah. yeah. Who's so, that? She's a Nigerian cosmetologist. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Young Nigerian cosmetologist. Yeah, she's very, very, um, what do you, I don't know how it's, she's very successful, but like cults, she's a cult, she's a, her, her lipsticks are cult favorites, and like immediately she has them, they're sold out almost immediately. And she started off making them in like her, in her, shed. Gola, in her shed, in her parents' shed, hand making each one. Alrighty, so it's time for us to go ahead and get our guest in for the day. That's right. And she is um, a beauty entrepreneur, I should say. She's a makeup artist, extraordinaire. Fine girl. Name, very, ah, well, yes, of course. By the name of Theodora Morgo. Theodora. Theo. Doran Beauty. Did I do a good job yeah. of introducing? Well, I what is this? What do you mean? What? I don't understand. Yeah. Well, why are you giving us? What are you giving us? <laughs> really I always like, this is like, I always have to do a grand entry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't do it. That's a yeah. <laughs> Hello. Very grand. Hi. It's good to have you. And oh, she's no. walking slow and everything. Theo, yeah. what's going on? You look nice. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Hi. Show welcome, your true welcome, self. Welcome. You can sit. We know who you really are. Uh-uh. So how are you doing? You're welcome. Thank you. You say, you, you say we don't know her. What's, what is the real her? Yes, Lena. What is the real me? I can't talk about it until after 10 p.m. Ah. Because it's X-rated. Oh. <laughs> but that, you know, Theodoran is an amazing brand. Amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I met so, Theo, sorry, but my relationship with Theo started um, at the marina in Lagos. Yes. Uh, Theo was probably the best dressed, best looking, personal assistant that I'd ever met. <laughs> like every single day Theo came to work, no, it she, was a hundred. She's in line, literally. Like I'm not, I should be selling like maybe hair while she's typing an email or doing makeup while she's booking this, booking that. She was just super efficient, beat as in, and uh, hot. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so when did makeup start for you? So long, I think makeup has always been there. I've always done makeup, always from like, 
hiding behind when my mom goes out to mm -hmm. see. There's one time when she wasn't around. I wasn't allowed to use makeup to a certain age. Okay. So I wanted to really, 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 really do my eyebrows. So you know what I did? I took like a shaving stick. Ah, you took them all off? Well, I mean... Most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking deep breaths. It was like a thin line. And then I was like, what is wrong? What, did, what happened to you? You know? Mm -hmm. So it's, I've always done makeup. In my own, I mean, it may not have been professionally, right, right, right. but I've always done makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so as a, okay, oh. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody say something. No, as a business, no, like when, when did you, I mean, you know, obviously you were doing other things mm -hmm. before you started Doran Beauty, like which is your company mm -hmm. and you have your, you know, different branches now. But when did that as a business start where you're like, okay, no, I'm done working for other people. Now I'm setting up my own thing and I'm going to launch it. It was in 2013. Wow. Yeah. Only three years. Three years, 2013. And I was like, you know what, I can't, there was not even time to work for anybody else. To be honest, I got really busy mm -hmm. and I was, um, I became almost inefficient in okay. my other job. And I just like to give everything my all. So I said, I said, you know what? How about I just go and do what I've, mm. I've been called to do? Yeah. You know? And it was strategic as well, I think, because it definitely opened a lot of it doors. Was. Because she was working in, uh, with like a branding agency that was connected to a lot of musicians and artists oh. and mm -hmm. actors. So Theo was always there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make up clean in to all those <laughs> there, you know? Mm. Yeah, Zena. So, so how's it been? in the last three years since you started your own very interesting hmm. very it. hectic mm -hmm. <laughs> but good all the same mm -hmm. competitive because now we have so hmm. many everybody on youtube man you tell me about it but the thing about it is i feel like um the, anybody can take up a brush really anybody can wake up today and decide to be a makeup artist it's if you're a good makeup artist and if you're a i don't try to say successful because you need to now when you understand the arts you know to now you have to now understand the business part of it right because when i work. when i started doing makeup because i loved makeup so much um i remember if i had a job and so say i walked in here and i jana for instance had called me and then there were two other people who needed makeup and just because I look like I would be done with Zainab and I would look at maybe online and I'm like, ha, I would even offer to mm. say, I would, you know, right. And then Ebuka is in the corner saying, ah, but just do me now, me? do mine too. So you ended up doing that a lot. And I used to do that just because I just didn't. And that's how I also started hair. That's how I used to do hair as well, because I would do someone's face and I would just, the hell be a hot mess. <laughs> This face and this hair is not going oh, no, to No, 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 it's not going. But let's, yeah. we're, we're going to take a break now. Okay. When we come back, we'll find out more about your story and, of course, makeup in Nigeria and what you want to do with it. And then we'll talk makeovers. So we'll see you in a moment. Welcome back to the spot and you're right on time to get into it with us um, on our topic of the day, which is makeovers, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are, are you done making the point we're going to make? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You were about you were, hair about and the, makeup. The art and yeah. Yeah. So, so you do hair as well. Do you make hair or you just sell hair? I don't sell hair anymore. What it is is that Dawn Beauty is a rep for, is a Lagos rep for two hair brands. Okay. So I don't have to go through the stress of bringing in, finding mm. good hair, okay. dealing with clients and emotional women all the time. <laughs> <laughs> These are emotional women. Yeah, yes. thank you. Oh, People get stressed about their hair, huh? It's not even, even with makeup, like oh. I feel like I'm a makeup artist and a lot a of people's therapists mm. and boyfriends. <laughs> oh, wow. So you've heard a lot. Your ear is full. What do you think? Hey, are you going to give us... Jeez, okay, don't call it. Just give us one celebrity. Jeez. For what? No. <laughs> my clients trust me. That's but you know a lot. I do. She, wow. oh, and I feel like, I feel like Ebuka knows I know a lot. <laughs> like, like, you know a lot. Because <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. I know. I mean, it's, I, I think I've been around when you've done makeup. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've done a few shoots together. Mm -hmm. You also did my wife's makeup for her wedding. Mm -hmm. And I know you also have a very good conversation starter. Yes. So I can imagine how, <laughs> I'm just, okay. just imagining how, it just you know, all flows what out. What gift Theo has. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know after what you got on. <laughs> Is that part of what excites you about the job? 
connecting with people and you know i actually the thing is i actually love meeting people i might not be i'm i would like to um I would say I'm a nice person, but I'm not a friendly person. Okay. So just because like we're having a good conversation here and we're kicking it and laughing doesn't mean I'm going to call you tomorrow. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like my space, but I enjoy meeting people and all of that. But I always know when to draw the line. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, we're talking makeovers today. Okay. Would um, you like um, a makeover? I, no, I don't think I need okay, a makeover. Okay. I think I need a make under. I'm a little too, you know. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the makeover is changing one's appearance, often mm -hmm. using cosmetics and hairstyling. That's a very <laughs> short definition. So we're making. Is that all there is? Yeah. I yeah. thought it was. Is, is it? Does that definition just only refer to face? No, it says uh, probably it, oh, because no, it's it's cosmetics. Yeah. cosmetics. Cosmetics. So yeah, so face. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. Like, is it makeovers can range from something as simple as a new haircut to the use of cosmetic surgery. Really? Mm -hmm. so those are the two extremes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess in Nigeria we make over a lot. Ah, yeah. we do. Makeup we do. is a it's a big business. Yeah. It is, really is, and it's 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 amazing how it has grown, literally from two thousand and thirteen to two thousand and sixteen. Like, I feel like there were not this many. Um, how many makeup artists were there? Not, not, <laughs> a, not like even if you said they were like ten. Now it's like 348. No, I agree. It's, it's just, it is in not a lot. <laughs> there is a make there's from D makeover, makeovers to C makeovers, yeah. like the whole alphabet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in every neighborhood, it's, it's funny. I don't find one in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> You're not looking well. You're not looking That's well. That's probably, so yeah, probably why. Why mm -hmm. do you think that happened? What do you think triggered the, the rise? Um, I think for the longest time, makeup wasn't viable or did not appear viable mm -hmm. um then okay the business of being a makeup yeah artist. being a makeup artist right. then we have like we had our, our pioneers like you know people like banker mishida mm -hmm. um tara, tara mm -hmm. and tibimpe you know and yeah. um, people like that and then all of a sudden it um all of a sudden there was like a new group of young makeup artists like a handful of us mm -hmm. you know and I think we kind of made it look cool. cool. Yeah. Right. Because um, every time like we're, we're working, when we have like staff or interns, I have to deal with people who don't necessarily like makeup, but they feel like, ah, these makeup artists look like they, they're the it girls. Because okay. yeah, the makeup artist lifestyle as well is, um, especially on Instagram, and social media Moving they around. look good they wear nice clothes yeah. they seem to be invited to all the hottest places exactly with yeah. the, all the hottest um celebrities. and they're fine girls aspirational you're, yeah. if you're in if you work in the entertainment industry you're chilling with people like ebuka chilling with all the guys and so that's what they see that's what they see and then they feel like okay they feel like oh, okay this seems like a flexible job and you know the truth is a lot of people are lazy yeah you know? So they're like, oh, if this girl can do this, look this nice, do all these things, she's making money and she's living the life. And that means she doesn't really have to work that hard. I don't look like this when I go to work. Mm -hmm. Then I can testify to that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. But she's still fine without it. Yes. Well, thank, that's Skin thanks to my mama. Fleek. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 an, it's been an interesting journey. I'm not going to lie. Very yeah. interesting. Do you see growth? Because... Um, it looks like it's saturated now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people doing makeup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The wedding space, which is I hear, I don't know if it is the biggest money earner for a lot of yeah. people, mm -hmm. is also getting saturated. As in that everybody mm -hmm. wants to, everybody does wedding, wedding makeup. Everybody <laughs> wants to do wedding makeup. So where do you see growth coming from now in that industry? Do you think it's even going to grow anymore? Uh, which, which like a peak where you know? Like, uh, of course, it's, uh, of course, there's growth. For me, um, I'm too intelligent to want to be painting faces all the time you know yeah. what I mean you get to a point where you realize like there are times when like I literally work back to back every day I'm not a I'm, I wouldn't classify myself as a bridal makeup artist mm -hmm. I do everything in fact for me in my own business the biggest my m biggest or my money maker isn't from brides mm -hmm. you know but um, I would have to work like back to back, literally 7 a.m. calls. I'm not home till 11. I have to be up the same. And I mean, going jobs on the mainland, back to the island to, main, 
back and forth like that. And then you get to a point where you're like, this can't be life. Mm. I mean, it's fun, but it can't be life. There has to be more to being sure. a makeup artist than literally just painting faces. Mm -hmm. So there is growth. Like, I feel like even with me, my style, your makeup as an, your, your style of makeup as an artist would change. Yeah. When you realize, like, do you understand? Like, when I started, I used to be heavy on highlights. Like, if that line is not there, <laughs> I'm not going to your face. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it has changed. So now I'm doing heavy highlights and contour, but well blended. Mm -hmm. My style has changed. Um, my focus has, I wouldn't say changed, but more aligned. Okay. You need to be able to do all that. You need to do all that in quotes, house girl work. That whole, yeah. because that's how you learn. That's how you meet, pe meet people. That's how you do take on jobs you shouldn't take so that next time mm. you know not to take those jobs that's how you learn how to say no that's how you learn when to say yes you know things like that yeah. so it's it's important to go through those phases and there is growth as long as you know what you're doing yeah. there's always growth how do you feel about oh we're taking a break yep. okay. <laughs> wow okay <laughs> yes we're taking a break guys when we come back Zainab's question and much more and we'll be still talking about makeovers with Theo when we come back Welcome back. You are still watching The Spot. We've been talking makeovers with Theodora. Wait, yeah. Yes, Theodora of Victorian Beauty. <laughs> I couldn't do it better myself. <laughs> so yes, okay. Um, before Zainab the break, had Zainab had a question. Yes, I did. Let it out. Um, so with the rise of the makeup culture and makeovers, we've also seen the rise of makeup shaming. Makeup shaming. Yeah. Shaming? Yeah. What is makeup shaming? So, you know, there are people who have a, of the opinion that women are wearing too much makeup now. Oh, I see. Um, the before and after pictures are becoming more and more drastic. Mm. Um, guys saying, oh, you know, we really, we, we want less and... Mm. Just, it's a dirty lie. But anyway. <laughs> I was going to say that. Some guys about to finish. Do, <laughs> yeah, sure. No, some guys do. Like well, then you now come out with no makeup. They're like, ah, but you look tired. If you, look you know what? <laughs> For every man out there, I'm like, sorry, you just today. You know. do not ever <laughs> tell a woman that she looks tired. Because it means she's not wearing makeup. The, if you're going to say it, don't say it with the screw face like, yeah. ah, oh my gosh, you're you so tired. tired. But she, he doesn't no, know that he's not makeup. Quiet. No, he doesn't know. The truth is, he it's not his fault because he's seeing you day after day after day looking a certain way. They want to yeah. be tired. Of course, you'll tell you, yeah. why do you look so tired? <laughs> Not knowing that it's just uh, the foundation that changed. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. So how do you feel about the whole makeup shaming thing? Because it seems to happen a lot more these days. I, th I think people are also um, are bored. They just want to talk about something firstly. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I do agree that we've taken makeup to a whole different level. Like, I'm seeing somebody like, oh, like, ah, calm down, honey. <laughs> like, you're saying hi, you're just looking at brows, eyes, lashes, everything. And you people also need to realize that um, what you see on Instagram also is not just makeup. It's a combination of makeup and Lighting, extreme editing. Photoshop. Like, yeah. you know, so you can actually put makeup, more makeup on somebody with these editing apps. Yeah. And um, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I mean, thank God for technology, but oh, man, taking it to another level. Um, it's important for women to take care of their skin because a lot of times when you see people caked up, it's always because fine they want to look good, they yeah, want to look exactly. like the belle of the party, but it's also because they're trying so hard to cover up whatever. Um, issues that they have yeah. Yeah. you know so if you can if you take up if you take care of your skin um i mean even if your skin is not perfect but if your skin is relatively good you wouldn't need the thing is if you have good skin and somebody packs on so much makeup on you you actually would look and feel funny yeah that's the truth or well, i want to believe that's the truth you know mm -hmm. but um yeah, just take care of your skin, be confident. Let the makeup be, um, say, your alter ego. So mm -hmm. once in a while, you want to switch it up. But mm -hmm. not like it's a, every time your somebody... Your daily life. Yeah. Every time somebody... See, I'm not even daily life, because you know some people, we only see them on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we don't want to be seeing 
uh, Casper the Friendly goes every Saturday. You know, how about we put some J Lo in there? Mm -hmm. you know? What do you think about this um, signature look? Because I feel like in the last, you know, couple of years, I don't know if it's because of Kim Kardashian or whatever, oh. but there's this like basic standard look okay. when you go to a wedding and you see girls who have gone to get their makeup done. Like everybody is starting to look the same. It's, it's the eyebrows to begin with. Is that <laughs> bronze? She said. <laughs> the eyebrows. It's talk it's nothing it's nothing like Kim Kardashian's makeup. Have you seen Kim, Kim Kardashian's makeup? Yeah, it actually it's looks natural. Very natural. Yeah. It was like years ago when she used to you would literally see the contour. Yeah. And then you would see the highlight and then in the eyes. Yeah. Now it's a seamless finish. Mm -hmm. Um even she doesn't even go overboard with the whole um like highlight. glow yeah. highlight. I mean I like my glow. <laughs> Sorry, Kim, but <laughs> even she doesn't do all of that. Yeah. Even with her lashes, if she's going to ever, if you look at her pictures, if she ever does like extremely long lashes, best believe that they're going to be sparse or yeah. wispy. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, I don't know where they get, they get their in, um, inspiration from. I can't. But, but even you get when people who want that, don't you? Of course. The mm -hmm. thing is, makeup is, um, it's, it's expensive and not expensive. And I'll say why. The average, um, Anywhere else to get your makeup done will start from like a hundred dollars, sixty pounds, mm -hmm. and it's not everybody that can cough that money out. Mm -hmm. Here it's like thirty thousand, fifteen thousand. You even have people that are doing it way less, Lord, and, you yeah. know. And people want to see every naira on their face. This is so where's my nose? I want to see the light. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. you know. I'm so, uh, what do you think? Okay, we're gonna, gonna go, go to break. break. Okay. Hold it right now. Ready? Yes, oh. we'll be right back after this. Welcome back, guys. We're talking makeovers on the show today, and I'm Theodora of Doreen Beauty. Doreen, Doran, Doreen? Doreen. It's like a mix of both. Okay. It's like Doreen. Doreen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the Who house. I can have two questions, but okay. let me start with the first one. Okay. Um, about Nigerian makeup, mm. now. and um, apparently there's Nigerian makeup. There is. Because I, I did see a picture once of Toke and Bonang mm -hmm. on Bonang's page, mm -hmm. and there were a lot of South African comments. And people mm. were like, "Oh my God, these Nigerians know how to beat face." Mm. Uh, there was a lot of positive. Mm -hmm. I also have a friend, Lelo, who's South African, mm -hmm. and came to a wedding here once, mm. and still says to today that that's the best makeup she's ever had done on her face. Yeah. Now at the same time, I saw a picture of another Nigerian celebrity. Um, which ended up on the same South African blog, mm -hmm. uh, their Instagram page, and all the comments were like, oh, these Nigerians overdo everything. Mm. You know, it was the same eyebrow talk mm. and the contour. contour. And we're like, why, where is she going to? She's just, is it a, the Oscar? Yeah. Is, they complain about the fact that Nigerian makeup is much. always too overdone okay. for even like a small. Yeah. So store Storm opening. Yeah. I think so what is, is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, there, there definitely is Nigerian makeup. And it's funny because somebody was asking me the other day, she's half Ghanaian, half Zimbabwe. What, where are they, what, are they, what are they called? Zimbabwe. 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 Yeah. And she, she's, she's, she was in Nigeria over the weekend and she was asking me, she was like, so where do you guys get your inspiration from? Who do you guys look up to? Because like, we don't see any makeup like this ev ev anywhere else. Hmm. And then it got me thinking, I was like, that is so true. I can speak for myself. I know who I look up to and I know like the kind of people that I try to tailor my work after. But if I were to like kind of compare, I would say we kind of do our makeup like the Arabs. Yeah. Wow. It's With the okay. dramatic. It's very like heavy. I think even the Arabs, in fact, now I don't know who, which one is heavy anymore. Before, I would have said the Arabs, but now I'm like, ah, I don't know. We've caught up. We're well, catching up. In fact, we've caught up. You know, they have like really, really thick, yeah. extremely defined Brand. eyebrows yeah. and dark eyebrows. Yeah. Their liner, they would literally be covered all the way up. But their eyes. Their oh, eyes. Beautiful. Yeah. It's like literally layers on layers, and you can see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I think for a lot of people, when they meet Nigerians or when they come here the first time, it's fascinating at first. Yeah. Then but the then, 
reality dawns on you like, oh, it's a lot. Oh. It's a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, oh, there definitely is a, there definitely is Nigerian makeup. I, uh, Mm -hmm. I would like to be the only it only makes sense for me to say they, they work they a lot of people look up um take up or tailor their work like the Arabs mm -hmm. or like the Lebanese makeup artists. Right. You know? yeah. Their their makeup is very also heavy, heavy. Especially yeah. around the eyes. So okay. if you were going to oh you had two questions. Yeah, what's your second question? The second question was actually more about still sort of talking about makeup shaming. And we know we talked about we talked about it on the show before. Mm. which makeup artists do the before and after. Mm. And the comments that follow, and sometimes you get the impression that the makeup artists do it on purpose, yes. where they completely strip down the before. Oh, okay. no, I don't know. And I then know. completely Photoshop the after. Okay, I see what you, you know. Mean. And sometimes it's almost like, oh, yeah, you I saved this person. People, yeah. <laughs> you well, know? you. The truth is, there's I, like, there's actually always no matter. Like some people, when they say, I don't want to look different, and I tell them that there's, That's not. I'm, you're going to look different, but I'm not going to change like. You're no not going to. You I'm not going to change you. Mm -hmm. Complete to a different person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I can do is make like what I. One of the um, comments that I get that and I love the most when I uh, when I do a, a client's face is, I went into this party. Everybody was asking if I lost weight. Just like it was something because I've learned how to contour and highlight drastically without mm -hmm. seeing. Like I can. You, you know how you can see a picture and you're like, shit, that girl her. That her contour is, you know, mm -hmm, nice point, to yeah. the gods and all yeah, of that. Uh -huh. And then you can see somebody else. Well, if you don't know what she looks like before, you go, like, oh, she's a, that's a very good picture. The makeup is very nice. But somebody who knows how, like, ah, you look where, yeah. your cheekbones, yeah. why is your nose looking pointed, yeah. you know? You know, um, what was the question again? <laughs> About makeup artists The before shaming. and after. Okay, yeah. so before and after. Yeah, I don't do before and after. It's not because I don't want to. Just because like my my clients don't particularly like before yeah. and after. I have seen certain people like, uh-huh, this makeup artist. We know that this before is a is a raw image. Mm -hmm. Taking raw image or even um, in when bad they give light. You yeah. Something, they maybe they some they might sometimes have they use like a stranger. Really I've seen oh yeah, yes. I don't like that. So okay. they prime juice. So yes. You know when you just when you, you use a mattifier. Yes, yeah, so when you use a mattifier, your face. Like, yeah. You, <laughs> like struggle. They struggle, <laughs> and then you see the after picture, and you're like ah. With some editing ah, on top of it. Come on now. Real. Yeah. But I don't think at the end of the day, it is the people that allow them to put the pictures up. If they're fine with it, then that's mm. all, that's that's yeah, all that matters. As long as you're not doing it without your client's consent, then yeah. there's, there's if anybody, the people that are bashing them are the people that still call them. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, again, that segment <laughs> came to a very quick close. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to be rounding up the topic. Please stay with us. Welcome back to the spot, and we're still talking about makeovers. Um, when we were uh, on our break, Lamide had a question for Theo about the difference between day-to-day -day makeup and, and not even day, um, even event makeup. Like if I wanted and you to do my makeup for an event and you charge me, let's just say thirty k, mm -hmm. great, and I look gorgeous, I'm on point. If I said to you, oh, I need really really nice makeup for my wedding, then that figure drastically goes up to 250 mm -hmm. or 300 or 400 mm -hmm. or however much it is. And I don't understand why, because it is the same product. Same products. It's the same makeup. No, so that's different. Different. Okay, okay, so yeah. So, so there are lots why. of reasons why it's more expensive. How many times do you want to get married again? Just the one. Good. Maybe two times. Just kidding. So uh, not I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, so it's a big event. Mm -hmm. So the importance of the event, one. Two, it's more time. So for me, if I was doing a client and um, the average, I, I would say I'll do a face for about 45 minutes to one hour. Mm -hmm. It might be more if it's somebody that I know and we're talking. So obviously that slows me down. Yeah. But for a bride, whether I know it, whether I don't know it, it will take at least an hour, 30 minutes, maybe even two hours. Okay. Because with brides, it's det it's, you're paying attention to details. <coughs> you want to make sure from whatever angle. I mean, like, regardless of the event, <coughs> sorry. sorry your your face is well blended anyways yeah but you want to give that like if you if you usually blend one side seven times you're going to blend that side 15 times yeah you know so mm -hmm. it's the importance of the of the event yeah 
it's the time you, okay it's yes time. and then you know with brides there's a consultation there's a trial you know, you've tried on different looks. Mm -hmm. you to see what works for the day. Yeah. So you, you go before the wedding to go and try. Yeah. Yes, that's the standard procedure. I put, and then yeah. the makeup artist oh, spends the procedure? day okay. with the bride. Or does that always happen? <coughs> no, it depends on the pack. Yeah. Different makeup artists have different change, packages yeah. that they go. Yeah, some people just do it and go. Some people we'll insist stay. that the makeup artist stay the whole day. So it depends on the package that the client um, wants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, when in Nigeria. I, I probably will. I'm not sure, but mm. I probably will. Who knows? I can't say. Yeah. But I, I'm looking forward to that. Who's your favorite makeup artist in Nigeria and then internationally? I don't have one favorite makeup artist. Actually. I have a couple. Yeah. Um, I really like Auntie Bimpe, Bimpe Onokoya's work. Yeah. I also like, um, who else do I like? I really like, young person, I like um, Jane. Flawless Faces Flawless by Faces. Jane? Mm -hmm. by, uh, yeah, she's. Yeah. You guys are. Yeah, I think when I see not similar, but like you both like the glow. Yes. Yeah. So and it's like the glow from within. Yeah. It's not the glow that's sticking on. Yes. On the face. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's like different. It's it on. Yeah. yeah. There's different. What is the glow? Because. Okay. So you see. You see this. She looks. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hey God, Theo, honestly, eh? <laughs> You're not vain at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not vain. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, internationally, who are um, you? Yeah. Internationally, there's Renny Fuskers. Yeah, yeah. I love his work. I love how oh, clean yes. how. Renny's gonna do my makeup. Every girl. <laughs> and then Theo's gonna do my makeup. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have. Theo, you only know. <laughs> ever done my makeup once. Because you don't oh, call yeah. me. Well, it's because you're far. Maybe she doesn't like the glow. Yeah, far. What? How, how, how am I far? You're, you're on the island and I'm on the mainland, so most of the time. But you know, I live on the mainland, you know that, right? Yeah, but you, your, your studio is on the island. So if you can call me. I'm listening on this show. <laughs> <laughs> or is this my a bad. private consultation? <laughs> sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. That's wrong. Okay, Renny Basket. Renny Basket. Yeah, just And was that it? Renny the guy? Yeah, it's the guy. Yeah, he's the guy. There's actually somebody else, but. Um, Michelle Palki, I think. Okay. She's, she's, I think from Lebanon. Mm. So she had, she does like heavy eyes. Okay. But her skin is still like uh, okay. very, yeah. you know, clean. Yeah. But she does, I like, mm -hmm. I like the fact that she can do heavy eyes mm -hmm. and it will still not look in mm. your face, yeah. you know. Okay. There are a couple of them, but yeah, those two. Yeah. Great yeah. stuff. Okay. Time for us to say yeah. goodbye. Aww, we're having fun. Are you enjoying the juice? Which one? Yes. Both. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the real juice. How can they get in yeah. touch with yeah. you? Before okay. we if they quickly, want to quickly. find you, where did they I'm on you? Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Snapchat, D O R A W N E Beauty. We're also on YouTube. We have a lot of new stuff for you guys. <laughs> you can tell your wife, hmm. you know. Every female, so the all of all, everything, yes. Yeah. And then our email is info at darinbeauty.com. So, yes. Okay. So, people can do like one on ones as we, well. We, I do a lot. We do a lot of, we do like group trainings. Mm -hmm. Okay. But my, I'm, I'm very um, passionate about the one on ones. I, I love those ones. Okay. Yeah, you should. You should. You should. You should. Oh. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming over. Uh, thank you, Theo. Thank you for it's having me. Now it's time for us to get into the real gist, and you guys have to go. For that. <laughs> <laughs> <Toodles>. <laughs> Bye. Please out, sign guys. our wall. Yes, please sign our wall. So